Chapter 1 You are listening at FameTV.info Translator Endless Fantasy Translation Editor Endless Fantasy Translation, tonight, as long as you sacrifice your first night on my behalf, I can help you pay for all of your mother's treatment fees. Think it over. Outside the ward, Su Liang gripped the huge stack of bills tightly, her nails digging into her palms, she had grown up in the Bai family and looked very similar to the eldest daughter of the Bai family, but she was only the daughter of a lowly servant. Because of this resemblance, Bai Qing had thought of all kinds of ways to torture and abuse her. She had been like a puppet that had been manipulated since she was young. Now, she was going to be placed in the hands of a strange man, tears streaked across her face. For the sake of her mother, who had been tortured by the disease until she was as thin as a twig, she still answered by Qing. I promise you. Su Liang was pushed into a dark room by the two of them. The door behind her was slammed shut. She leaned against the door, knowing that she had no chance to go back on her word. In the darkness, the man's rough, beast dot like panting gradually approached her. A pair of well dot defined hands held her tear dot stained face and gently wiped away her tears. I will be responsible for you. With that, a series of moist and hot kisses landed on her fair skin. The man greedily sucked on her fragrance, losing more and more of his semblance as a civilized man. S. Yu Liang watched as the naked and brutish man pressed down on her. She bit her lips and closed her eyes. Her legs hung weakly by the sides of his waist, like a wild flower swaying in the wind and rain, ready for the man to pluck. When the surroundings finally quietened down, Su Liang carefully supported herself up from the man's side and tidied up her scattered clothes. She didn't notice that the man's necklace was also stuffed into her bag in the hurry. As she held the door handle, she stole one last look at the guy who had stolen her virginity. He was like a fierce beast just a moment ago, but now he was like a quiet deer, this is the last time I'll see him, Su Liang thought to herself. Then, she opened the door and walked out quickly. At the end of the corridor, Bai Qing had been waiting for her for a long time with some people. Seeing Su Liang walk toward her in a messy outfit, she smiled disdainfully, when Su Liang stood still, Bai Qing threw the bank card at her and brushed her cheek with her fingertips. You should be grateful for this face that is somewhat similar to mine. You still have the chance to save your mother, despite your lowly status. As she spoke, she glanced at the traces of intimacy between Su Liang and the man on Su Liang's neck and felt a burst of jealousy. You better keep what happened tonight inside your guts. If anyone finds out, I'll kill you. Su Liang nodded silently and picked up the bank card that had fallen to the ground. If it weren't for the fact that her mother urgently needed this money to save her life, she would never have agreed to Bai Qing's shameless request. Seeing her obedient look, Bai Qing was immediately bored and called the attendant to quickly take Su Liang away. She couldn't wait to enter the room. Looking at Gu Han who was sleeping soundly, Bai Qing thought for a long time. Fortunately, it was not in vain. If Gu Han was not a germaphobe, she was afraid that she would be despised because she was not a virgin. Otherwise, it would not have been Su Liang's turn to spend the night with him. The next morning, Ji Yu Han looked at the woman beside him with exquisite makeup and frowned, Bai Qing pretended to not notice and hurriedly wrapped the quilt tightly, putting on a pitiful look. She muttered, Why am I here? Read latest chapters at Wuxia World. Sight only Gu Han looked at her face and pinched the space between his eyebrows, saying, I let you down last night. I'll take responsibility for this. I'll send someone to take you back first. Okay, I believe you. Bai Qing was secretly happy. She got off the bed to pick up the clothes that had been randomly thrown on the ground. Ji Yu Han's gaze swept over the girl's back. He remembered that there had been a small, I. Catching red mark on the girl's back last night when they were having sex all the way to the heavens. There was also a bruise that had been left behind because he had been reckless with his strength, immediately, he became suspicious. After Bai Qing left, Gu Han called the butler. Help me find out who is behind this. Just as he was about to put on his clothes and leave, he could not find the necklace that he had been wearing. 
It was the last gift his father had given him when he was a child. Did the girl just take it? Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.